All right, we're going to get started here in just a second. Just bear with me while we give people a few minutes to join. We got some huge Hexo and Xenobus news. Pretty excited. So just bear with me here, guys. Welcome back on the Pursuit of Wealth. It's Rod with Power Group. Just bear with me while we get things started here. We're just going to give it a few more minutes for people to hop on. All right, we'll just give it a couple more minutes here, folks. We're going to get started here in just one moment. Bear with me here, folks, just getting everything finalized and set up. My phone is going off the hook. Our speculation is true. Xenobus will be acquired by King Hexo. Hexo to the moon. I don't know if you got the memo or not, but Hexo is the king of cannabis. <laughs> Can't wait for you guys to see what Hexo is going to be like in uh, a couple of years, even a couple of years from now. I think it's really going to it just surprise everybody. And I cannot wait. Pretty excited to get started here in the live this morning. So welcome back on the Pursuit of Wealth. It is Tuesday, February 16th. And in today's video, we're going to be discussing Xenobus being acquired by Hexo. Let me know in the comments below. If you're excited, woo! I am excited. Just posting out a couple more links here to get people joined in on the conversation. All right, so we got about six viewers here, so welcome everybody. We're going to get started. So Hexocorp makes major Canadian acquisition with Xenobus Global. And if you can take a look at my channel, I did a video on this. Uh, essentially that there was talks that Hex or sorry, that um, Xenobus was in talks with another significant large LP. And that significant large LP is Hexocorp. So I honestly haven't even had time to go over this in detail yet. It was kind of ironic. I was reading this article on why Hexo is going to $400, the Tesla of cannabis. Uh, pretty funny, I mentioned this in the summertime that I think, obviously, I don't think Hexo is Tesla. I don't think it's going to be, you know, I don't think Sebastian St. Louis is going to be the richest man in the world like Elon Musk tomorrow or anything like that. I just mean in terms of story and in terms of relativity to the cannabis space, I think Hexo has the possibility to be the next Tesla of cannabis. And these guys tend to agree with me as they plot out their thesis and how it would anticipate that share price, how it would explain that share price. So you can check this out on your own time. But essentially they're saying that all they would have to do is capture a small market share. If it's going to be 300 billion in market share, all they would need to do is capture about 40 billion of that and that would just justify a $400,000 or sorry, a $400 share price. 
So set your reminder, you can thank me or regret not investing now. Investing in Hexo now is like investing in Coca-Cola at 25 cents a share. So obviously this is one huge pump article, but path to 400. So 400 isn't a long shot as may, you may think. It actually just may be half of what this stock will be. At this time of writing, Hexo is valued at 800 million. They are entering a $300 billion industry. If they can get 46.2 billion of that industry, they are at $400 a share. That could be within two years looking at it that way. Then $800 another two years after that. It's already undervalued at its current price with 350% upside where it should be at $28. It should see that in the next couple months, probably late March. Yeah, because we have earnings coming up and they're going to be amazing. Oh my God, the drinks here in my area, Molos are now $2.95. The XMGs are... $5.95. Let me know in the comments below how cheap the XMGs are near our area. Uh, but in, in Alberta, we've got um, the value buds now. Let me just see if I can bring this up here for you guys. And sorry, I'm getting a little distracted here from the deal. We'll get into it in a second. So value buds. I'm not sure if you guys are aware of this, but Nova Cannabis is converting... All of its, so you can see here, this value buds, all, pretty much all of their locations, like 80% of their locations, they're going to be renaming value buds and it's going to be tailored to the value segment. So cheap weed. So they have all kinds of cheap. I bought a Hexo ounce, um, original stash ounce with tax, $97, $97, insane. I'm probably going to get in trouble for saying that, um, but I don't really care at this point. Everybody needs to know. Um, this is a game changer. We're going to destroy the black market. And at this point, we're starting to see more and more line up as to why this is true. I have been saying this for a while now that Hexo is going to be the next 10, 100 bagger. And this is just more and more proof as to why I think that. So let's dump, jump into this article here. I think Technical 420 did a better job. So let's go over this. So Hexocorp and Zenibus Global are pleased to announce that they have entered into a definitive arrangement agreement under which Hexo will acquire by way of court approved plan of arrangement under the Business Corporations Act. All of Zenibus issued an outstanding common shares in all share transaction valued at approximately 235 million. So Zenibus shareholders will receive 0.017 Hexo common share in exchange for each Zenibus common share. So it's all going to it's going to be an all stock deal. So I'm just taking a look here. Approximately 19% based on the 20 day volume warrants incentive securities of Zenibus will be adjusted in accordance with their terms to be ultimately become exercisable to receive common shares of Hexo based on the share exchange ratio. The transaction was unanimously approved by the board of directors of each Hexo and Zenibus. Yada, yada, yada. Strength in domestic brands based on Hexos and Zenibus's most recent interim quarterly financial statements and results and those of other top licensed producers in Canada, the combined organization would be a top three licensed producer in terms of combined Canadian recreational cannabis sales. So top three. So it went from top four to top three. Foothold in Europe tr transaction gives Hexo immediate access to European medical cannabis market through Zenibus local partner with an established facility in the European Union supplying pharmaceutical products in the European market. The facility also serves as a European Union good manufacturing practice, yada, yada, yada. Accreditive synergies, Hexo estimates estimates that the combined entity may realize annual synergies of approximately 20 million within one year of close. I don't know about you guys, but I'm super pumped. Stocks are halted. Let me know in the chat if you see them unhalt. I'm just gonna take a quick pause here and see if we are resumed in terms of trading. Looks like we are. So Zenibus, Hexo, oh, up 20% 20, 20 here. Zenibus, looks like it's unhalted. So just give me a second here. I'm just going to buy some shares. All 
right, I had to get an order in there. And I've already got a ton of Hexo. And I just added to my Xena position as well, looking for a little bit more follow through on that. So just give me one second, we'll circle back to this in a moment. So obviously people are liking that news. And it's funny how things can change. I mentioned an hourly inverse head and shoulders here as well. Seems to be following through. Did that on a private stream for members this morning. But we got up to 919 here on this news on the US side. And we'll see if news is not hitting trading view yet. I would say a lot of people are going to start turn it's going to start turning some heads and people are going to start finding out about this news fairly soon. But let's just take a look. So on the five minute, we are overbought on Hexo. And taking a look at the daily time frame here, we bounce perfectly. So this is when I did a video over the weekend. I said, is it time to be buying the dip in cannabis stocks? And everybody in their and their dog was was interested, wanted to know when to buy Hexo here at eight, nine, ten dollars, even eleven dollars. I had people just foaming at the mouth, wanting to buy, couldn't buy quick enough. And then a couple days later, when we drop thirty over thirty percent, I had people asking me what's a good stop loss and. And, you know, when, when basically should we sell Hexo, should I sell now? And the mentality is just complete inverse. It should be the exact opposite. We were consolidating. And if you miss these moves, then now is the time to be loading up. We touched down right off EMA 26. Now we have this news. Obviously, we had no idea the news was going to, going to be coming. But just on that EMA 26 entry alone, you're up about 30% from that entry. So congrats to the bulls who did buy the dip. We'll circle back here in just a moment. Just going to check my order, make sure it went through. So bear with me. Let me know in the comments if you're buying any Xena here or any Hexo. I should say any additional shares of those companies. Hexo is down a little bit here now at 866 USD. And I think I'm gonna buy a little bit more Hexo on this pullback actually. Just wanna check into SPY real quick. So 392, so SPY is in a five minute downtrend. It's been in a five minute downtrend since we opened. So that is notable. I'm going to hold off here a minute. 856 on Hexo. I'm going to enter a little bit here. Hexo, you bet. Absolutely. Hexo and Xenobus to the moon. Let's go. Okay, back to back to it. So foothold in Europe. Accreditive synergies, capacity boost with state-of-the-art cultivation infrastructure. The proposed transaction would give Hexo access to licensed capacity to produce approximately 111,000 111, kgs of additional high-quality cannabis annually. The transaction would result in Hexo acquiring two indoor facilities, approximately 60, 635,000 square feet, and access to a 2.1 million square foot greenhouse facility. In my opinion, this is just smart business in terms in, in Hexo's part. While Canopy and all the other licensed producers were buying facilities and uh, look at Aurora closing down a bunch of facilities, uh, CGC, Canopy Growth just closed down a bunch of facilities. And here comes Hexo swoops in and buys Xenobis for pennies on the dollar while everybody else is selling their square footage and trying to decrease their capabilities Hexo is finally starting to ramp up now that they've become profitable. Now they're starting to expand and they're starting to 
really move toward that Sebastian St. Louis vision, which is just tap the market, get the U.S. market rolling and just turn that key and initiate the global supply chain. And we're starting to see all systems go and point in that direction. I'm excited. We're thrilled to welcome Zenibus team into the Hexo family. Zenibus has built solid relationships and they're And they share Hexo's vision of bringing exceptional branded cannabis experiences to adults everywhere in Canada and abroad, said Sebastian St. Louis and co-founder of Hexo Corp. We are proceeding with this transaction because we believe it should be accredited to our shareholders and it should also position Hexo for accelerated domestic and international growth while supporting near-term requirements of additional license capacity. Hexo's growth strategy includes expanding our global presence and this acquisition is an important step in that direction. Absolutely it is. This is a compelling combination. Our brand strains strength, uh, strengths across Canada, coupled with our international footprint and state-of-the-art, low-cost, high-quality cultivation facilities, complements Hexo's business, creating an industry leader like Hexo. Zenibus believes that the combination should deliver meaningful synergies, a strong financial position with increased flexibility, and should position the combined company to meet growing consumer demand on a national and international basis. I believe this transaction is beneficial to our shareholders, customers, partners, and employees. We look forward to working closely with Hexo to complete this transaction, said the CEO of Zenibus. Additional transaction details. The transaction will approve, uh, require approval by at least 66, so two-third percentage of the votes casted by shareholders of Zenibus, which I'm sure it will be approved. Hexo has entered into voting support agreements with Zenibus directors, and officers with respect to all Zenibus shares owned by them. So with Hexo having a period of five business days to exercise a right to match any such superior proposal for Zenibus, the arrangement agreement also provides a termination fee of $6 million payable to by Zenibus to Hexo if the transaction is terminated in certain specified circumstances. So just a little bit of a fail safe there. Yada, yada, yada. Certain regulatory court and stock exchange approvals. Yeah, all your basic things. So I'll just take a break here, take a look at the chat. I just added 200 of Hexo, let's go, you bet. Taking another peek into the Hexo chart. So we obviously saw a huge pump. We were halted there on that news and we have since resumed. Xena up 22 cents, I just filled at 18 cents. And here we go. Here we go. Usually the company getting bought out will see a higher percentage gain than the company acquiring them. But in this case, it looks like Hexo is seeing a bigger bounce so far. And that could be, Zenibus has run quite a bit as well in the last, uh, few weeks, if we just bring up the chart here. So yeah, in the last several days, I mean, we've gone from seven cents, eight cents up to 22 cents. So we've run from when we called it back out here, I called it out when we broke seven and a half cents and I entered around six cents, but we're up almost 300%. So could just be a sell the news type event. Most people knew that Zenibus was going to be acquired. So I think that's why we're not seeing a huge run up in Zenibus here just yet anyways. So Zenibus currently sitting at 18 cents. Hexo 1131 Canadian and 892 US. So Hexo up 19, almost 20% and Xena on the day up 16%. So again, I think that's due to the amount that Xena has run and also just we expected Zenibus to get bought out eventually. We just didn't know who and then the news uh, of it being Hexo obviously surprised a lot of people and I think that caught people off guard. So Hexo doing real real well here on this news. So just circling back, take a look finish and finish this up here. So upon completion shareholders would respectively own approximately 87.43% and 12.5% of Hexo and pro forma fully diluted basis. In addition, Hexo has undertaken an arrangement agreement with 90 days of closing the transaction. 
And I just got to take a phone call here. I will be right back. All right, sorry about that. All right, let's get back into it here. So, within 90 days of closing the transaction to increase the size of its board of directors by one director and cause one of the current directors of Zenibus selected by Hexo to be appointed to Hexo's board of directors in accordance to Hexo's yada, yada, yada. So, pretty boring for the most part. So, I think we've pretty much covered everything has entered into an agreement with Hexo of issued secured convertible debenture to Hexo in a principal amount of 19.5 million evidence, both a cash advance extended by Hexo to Zenibus. So just going over this. Yeah, nothing too important that I see or worth mentioning. So obviously we're going to have to get approval from all the regulatory bodies, but take a look at this uh, article on your own time as well. Will Hexo be the Tesla of cannabis? Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are. Hexo pulling back a little bit here now on this news, just looking for a potential five minute high or low and a potential five minute bull flag as well. On the hourly time frame, we did change the hourly trend here as well. So we had the low, the high, higher low, higher high. So the hourly uptrend has been confirmed, which means we can zoom out and the daily higher low is now established here at 691. That's going to be the most important support on the daily. We are above EMA 12 and 26 and daily bounce is underway. No real resistance up until 1104 on the daily. Let's go back to the hourly chart here. We have a little level here at 10.40 and $10 psychological on the US ticker, but nothing really after that until 11.04. So congrats to the bulls who did buy the dip. We're up, still up over 15% here now. Smart of Hexo to get their foundation set before expanding. I knew that rapid expansion would be a huge downfall for most companies, yep. Yeah, everybody was just wanted to be the big and the biggest, the the best, and you know they wanted to do it yesterday. Everybody wanted to grow the most and be the biggest, and never really thought of any you know oversupply issues or you know just a small hiccup in the system. There was obviously some issues with the rollout in Canada. Prices were very high. There was supply issues. And now we're getting into oversupply issues. So I've been saying it for a long time that I think Hexo is at the forefront of the cannabis sector. Sebastian St. Louis understands the industry extremely well. And more on top of that, he understands the consumer even more than the industry, in my opinion, and what the consumer wants. And he understands the importance of the illicit market and how that is really their main competitor, not other LPs. And I agree with that. I don't even consider any, I don't even consider it any competition. Hexo, I buy all Hexo's products. I don't buy any other LPs. Hexo is my number one favorite products in terms of any other company. I mean, I buy some Canopy, but maybe 5% of my dollars gets, gets uh, spent with Canopy. I'd say 90 or 95% of my money is going to Hexo at this point. So everything's looking good here as we wrap up. I'm just going to check in on the chat here as well. Added 500 shares of Hexo. Let's go. That is great news. Hexo is going to the moon. Yep. You heard it here first. I'm pretty excited. I'm a very proud shareholder. I've been holding since all the way back here when we called it out. 
So from all the way back at the lows, I've been accumulating this since the summertime. And obviously we had a four to one reverse split. So this is uh, post split adjusted numbers, but we had this pennant here as well. We had the fake out before the breakout. I remember just getting so much, you know, heat from calling Hexo a good investment and everybody, you know, just thought for sure that it was just going to be another pump and dumped. And from that breakout of that pennant up over 200%, and pulled back, like I said, 30%. Those are those are the times where you need to be ready to buy the dip. And again, my video over the weekend was exactly that, whether or not we should buy the dip. And those who did are getting rewarded and reaping the benefits. Is it best to buy Hexo on US or Canadian market? It doesn't really matter. Um, it's It depends what you're doing, if you're day trading, that type of thing, there's more volume on the US ticker. So generally we wanna go where there's more volume and more liquidity. And also you wanna chart the, the ticker that has the most data. So Hexo on the US side has more volume. So therefore we have more support and resistance levels to go off of. And those levels can be taken more seriously than the chart with the less lesser volume, right? So we want, we want the whole story. We want to we want to know exactly what the story is being told here in the chart. And the best way to find that story is by looking at the most volume. So there's really no difference. Um, if you're going to be if you're holding Canadian dollars, just know that you'll have to convert into USD, pay an exchange rate and then buy Hexo on the US side. Um, and if your broker charges you a fee, you're paying a con you're paying a fee to convert into USD from from Canadian funds, and then you're paying a fee to buy the stock, unless you're on like Well Simple or something like that, where you can buy commission free. Uh, but really, no huge difference. No, my opinion. The Just let me see. I got to expand this chat here. I can't really see what everybody's saying. So in my opinion, the article is a combination of reality and fantasy, but I agree with is the share price should at least $28 Canadian. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's it's a pretty big fluff article for sure. Um, but I mean, most people are sleeping here. We're, we're dealing with the cannabis industry is going to be massive. Like I'm talking massive. I don't think anybody here really understands, can really fathom how big it's going to be. We're anticipating 300 billion. It could easily be bigger than that. And if things keep going the way they're going and we eat into, you know, cannabis starts to eat more into the alcohol sales, it's going to be, it's going to be interesting. Like 300 billion, Hexo wants to be top three company in the cannabis sector worldwide. And if it's a $300 billion industry, even if they get 20 billion of that, they're at a $200 share price. So it's not really that fantasy. Look at uh, some other names that have run hundreds of percent. Um, there's there's some, some stocks that are 100X that have gone up 100X. So if you put $1,000 in, you'd have $100,000. And that's just since March. There's some stocks that have done that since March. If you don't think Hexo can go to $100 or $200, in six months to a year, it very well could. Not saying it's going to, I don't believe it will, um, but I've stranger things have happened, let's put it that way. Yeah, great timing for the news. I'm long-term trading five to 10 years in my mind. Yeah, well, if you are five to 10 years, then you know, you're not phased by any of these pullbacks and you're likely adding on these pullbacks that we saw from this huge $11 down to 692, over 30% drop. So hopefully you weren't too phased, you loaded up on that and you bought the dip because if you're holding long-term, generally you're not too phased by these 30% pullbacks. And if you're like me, who when you got in, you know, all the way back here at two, $3, um, you don't really care whenever it goes from 11 to 10 or you, you just wanna buy more. <laughs> and that's, uh, that's pretty much the story that I've been, you know, telling since the summertime. 
and we're, people are starting to finally wake up to the industry. Uh, prices are getting super accommodative and just economical. They're seeing crazy, crazy drops in prices. Um, check out Value Buds in Alberta. Uh, they're going to have some crazy, crazy deals for you guys to check out. And just telling you right now, <laughs> you, you haven't seen anything yet in the Canadian or the U.S. cannabis space. Thinking fifteen dollars a share by Friday. Friday's uh, yeah, Friday's a stretch. Um, if Spy cooperates, it's entirely possible. Spy's still in a five-minute downtrend. I'm actually short Spy, and I've got a big Hexo position. So Hexo up sixteen percent, and Spy currently in the red. So I'm sitting real well here today. I've also got a position in BAM um, that I'm holding for the long term as well. And we just broke above a dollar. So just taking a look at the other Canadian names. So APHA, uh, another huge bounce here on the daily. So again, when I said, should we be buying the dips? From that low, it's up almost 40%. This is a trader's dream and paradise here. Right off EMA 26, again, while everybody was asking me what stop loss should they set, in reality, in my opinion, I was placing buy orders. I wasn't worried about selling. And this is exactly why. 40% bounce on APHA. Congrats to the bulls there. TLRY, daily inside bar, not seeing nearly a big of a bounce. So APHA definitely standing out as the clear, clear lead bull but TLRY up over 15%. So I just wanted to do a quick check-in and just looking at Hexo here again. So we are bouncing, could be a potential five minute bull flag, but no real resistance. Like I said, up until $10 psychological, 1040 and then 1104. All right, well, I don't think there's any more questions or any chatter going on at the moment. So super excited. Can't wait to see how we close the day out today in both of these names in Xena, in uh, Xenobis and Hexo. Let's take a quick check in here. So Xenobis currently at 17 and a half cents. So like I said, a little bit of a sell the news reaction to Xenobis, and I think that is because, in summary here, is because that we already knew, most people knew Xenobis was going to be a buyout target, and we already knew they were in talks with another significantly large LP, so it wasn't a question of if, it was more of a question of when, and then in terms of the significant LP, it was a question of who, and that question of who is Hexo. So Hexo obviously seeing uh, a surprise move there and getting the brunt of that reaction for the bulls. So we're going to leave it there. Thanks for joining us on the Pursuit of Wealth for a MJ Sector review. Congrats to the Hexo Bulls and Xenobis Bulls, and can't wait to see how they end the day. We'll see you a little bit later on after market close.